Before we begin this reaction, a quick reminder. I have a Discord and you can join it by clicking on the link down in the description below. There are also links to my Twitch and to my Twitter so that you guys can join them whenever you want to. With that being said, let's proceed with today's reaction right now. Jesus, that's like 80% of the world population. And your mission is to save her. Well, I'll be damned. So that means my theory on her killing Chris is completely wrong and disproven right now. So who killed her in that case? Open the stains gate. Well, that would be interesting. Oh, damn. But you care about Chris. It's working just fine in this timeline, huh? It has fuel? What kind of fuel does this machine use though? I'm curious. Since it wasn't actually mentioned, I think. Fragments of time. Yes, she almost saw you. God damn, it's so fucking confusing right now. Did this actually happen in the background of the first episode as well? Is it a giant loop? Or is this what changes the timeline and all? And it's been so long I kind of forgot she doesn't even know who he is at this point of time. Um, shouldn't you have stayed with her though? Well, no. Come to think of it, he needs to go to the place where she was stabbed at and get the fucker that stabbed her out of there. Well, shit. Yeah, the same as Myri. Hm. So no matter what you do, she's supposed to die in this moment of time. Okay, so who is this guy now? It's her dad. So was it her dad that stopped her? Or is there someone else that showed up later? Oh shit! So yeah, it is him! Jesus, talk about jealousy! How can we do something? Yeah, this old man has gone senile. Like he's lost it, completely fucking lost it. Take the goddamn knife. Shut your ass up. The fuck does it mean what you think? Are you, are you for fucking real now? You want to kill her because of jealousy. Is this the entire fucking reason why she died in the first place? It wasn't even fucking CERN. It was this fucker. Ain't no goddamn way. Ain't no goddamn way it was Okabe that stopped her. Jesus Christ. Of course, a fucking course. So yeah, it is a goddamn time loop. He was the reason she dies in the first place. Just, I, I don't know. Her dad had a knife to begin with, so maybe her dad was the reason why she died initially, but no matter what happens now, it would be the same case as with Myri. Fuck. Anyway, let's just keep watching and let's see what's going to happen. Yeah. But he's lost it. Yeah. Yeah, it's the same shit as in Myra's case. Turn on the TV. So... Yeah, that paper is the start of everything. Yeah, he's lost it. He's, he's fucking lost it. He's broken. Because he's been through this thousands of times. 
messing with time just is it's something you can't do just like that you ain't a god you can't go against fate that was bound to happen you're just a human being also damn count for you to fail once so what's this now It's Okabe, isn't it? Myself from 15 years ago. Of course. You failed to rescue Chris, okay? Of course. Seeing her is possible? Okay, so what's the right way in that case? Make your pastel mistake a living Chris for a dead one. If you do so, the past won't. Huh? What? Ex small brain energy, but I don't get what he's saying right now. I don't. Yeah, the fuck does he mean? Deceive your other self. And the entire world. Well, that would be hard when you have only one try, wouldn't it? With 33 years old. Are you for real just 18? Well, let's jump into episode 24 and let's keep getting closer to the goddamn ending. Fuck. Wait, so in this time, man, she actually does know that Daru is her dad, huh? She remembers? How? How does she rem- How the fuck does this work? Where does she have her memories from the beta timeline? Or the alpha timeline? That doesn't make sense at all, honestly, but whatever, I guess. Maybe something that I won't get, even after the end of the series. Yeah, that is if the accident ends up happening. How will you knock her out though? Oh, a taser, huh? So what do we do now? Unless we kill her dad and knock her unconscious. So that you think it's her blood. Maybe use your own blood? Hmm. No. Yeah, he really is shaking. I mean, as mad as he may be, I don't think he wants to go in jail for killing someone. And Chris is there, so she will be a goddamn witness if he ends up killing you. Speak your shit. A man too small to enjoy his own daughter's talent couldn't kill me. <laughs> Shut your bitch ass up. So what now? Oh, knock her out and make it look as if she is dead. So you will die, but you will end up fooling the entire world thinking that she died. Is this it? Oh, that's a wild ass way to end this entire loop. Without a doubt, a substitute. See you in seven years, huh? That is if she is even born in this timeline. Okay, so everything is fine and done, isn't it? There's just one problem. What will Christina end up thinking about this entire thing? I'm glad to see that Moika is doing fine in this timeline as well, like, she went through shit also, so yeah. So, 
what is supposed to happen in the next episode in that case? I'm guessing it will be a wrap-up episode like the epilogue of everything. Which is kind of scary also. There is so much stuff that can happen in the future. The future technically has no end as well. Since even if the universe ends, another one will be born eventually. Though obviously by the time that happens, humans probably won't be around. Unless we kinda end up becoming the cockroaches of the universe and it wouldn't be able to get rid of us. And though we are so, so fucking easy to kill. Ah, Jesus. Fuck it, let's just go into the epilogue of the story, I guess. And let's see what it has in store for us as the final episode of the series. Right now. And this mad scientist definitely needs to take a goddamn break. You will, whenever you meet. Considering we have 6 minutes left, this will be it. As convenient as it may be, I'm not even complaining. <sighs> yeah, both of you are a mess right now. Mm. Yep. He fucking said it. Yes. That's unfair. Yeah, but in this one you haven't. Yeah, but at least you are still alive and so is Myri. This is the perfect timeline, so yeah. Definitely, it was much longer. Jesus. Fucking yes. You love him as well, just... Come on, just say it. You're going to make him close his eyes again, aren't you? Of course. No! Show us the goddamn kiss! The fuck do you mean a black screen? Why? Just why? Show us something, please! Just... Everything but only this black screen. Please. Please. Anything. I know this opening is great, I know, but I don't want to sit through a black screen for the rest of the episode. Please, please, just a bit, just, just a tiny scene at the end of it. Please, I'm begging you. I'm begging, I'm fucking... Fuck. 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 That's that. That's the fucking ending. That's the end of the damn series. They ain't even going to show. At least show them kissing for fuck's sake. We went through all of this for... We deserve to see at least that. After all of the pain we went through in those 25 episodes. Fucking hell. Needless to say a 10 out of 10 series. There may have been some plot holes but I probably didn't notice them because Let's be honest here, this shit is too goddamn complicated to entirely understand just like that. But I still fucking loved it. I love the characters, I love everything. And I love the fact that we had a goddamn happy ending. I don't know if I will be watching Stains Gate Zero. And honestly, I don't think I need to watch Zero. Because it seems like the story is complete even without it. I'm pretty sure that Zero is just adapting 
some of the other choices from the novel, which are supposed to kind of fill in some plot holes, which I didn't notice to begin with, so yeah, no fucking point in watching Zero. Well, other than fucking uh, seeing some more of the characters, you know, because obviously I'm in love with them. But yeah, if you enjoyed those reactions and if you want to see some more series, hop over in the Discord or comment something down in the comments below, I don't know. But yeah, you can recommend something to me in the Discord. I may actually do it, if it is something that will perform well on YouTube, who knows. But yeah guys, I'm in direction here. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the entirety of this series. If you did, smash the like button, if you haven't done so, subscribe. If you still aren't subscribed, because yeah, I would really appreciate it. And honestly, even without you guys telling me what to react to next, maybe by the time this video is up, the reactions will be up if I actually start doing it, but I plan on starting Made in Abyss as well, since Season 2 is apparently coming out next year, and I have never watched Made in Abyss, so yeah, why the fuck not? I think it may actually be a good series, since I've heard good things about it, and it's a short one, so I can binge it in like two days, let's say. So yeah, but yeah guys, I'm in the reaction here, see you guys in another reaction video on the channel. Bye-bye.